Hello and welcome to St Ivo Academy. I'm Sam Griffin and I'm the principal of the school. And what I want to do just for a couple of minutes is talk to you about the kind of school St Ivo is and why we think it's an appropriate place to send your children. I want to do that by describing for you what I think a St Ivo student is, what they do and what they achieve. So first of all, a St Ivo student is somebody who achieves well. And over time, performance in examinations at St Ivo has been at or above national average in all areas. It's been particularly strong in the sixth form, where many students have gone on to top level universities. So all students do well academically. I think secondly, a St Ivo student is someone who behaves well. I think if you go around the school, you will recognize that expectations are really clear. Consequences are clear where they need to be. And the vast, vast, vast majority of students are compliant, polite, and work well with us, um, both in school and outside of lessons. A St Ivo student is someone who also contributes to um, the wider development of the school. So they might get involved in extracurricular activities, and I'm hugely proud of the range of things that a student can do during the school day, whether that's lunchtime clubs, whether that's after school sessions, whether it's being involved in dance, in drama, in sport, in music, um, there's opportunities to be involved. We have a manga club in the, in the library at lunchtime. There are lots and lots of things that people can get involved in. There's also the opportunity to learn outside of the school. And I think one of the things I'm very proud of in terms of the school, and coming out of COVID, this is something we're seeing come back more and more, is the ability to get students outside of the classroom, both into their local community and into communities around both the country and hopefully soon back internationally. So we've just had a geography field work trip come back from Snowdonia. We're looking at skiing trips over to Italy later in the year. We're looking at the potential to take kids over to Iceland, as well as local trips and opportunities to learn there. We're also a school that celebrates people's successes, be that through merits, through prizes, through the house system, through reward events that go on throughout the year. We're a school that recognises that people do well and need to be encouraged and rewarded for what they have achieved during that time. We're also a school that's very much part of our community. The vast, vast majority of students at St Ivo live in St Ives and the surrounding area. And we are the school for the community and we are a reflection of that community, its interests, its beliefs. So for example, we are involved in the Calm Town initiative to promote mental health and well-being amongst both young people and adults in the community. We have a very strong eco team that is very clear about our responsibility to both our local environment and indeed to the planet on the wider terms. So what we're talking about in terms of if you send your child to St Ivo is the start of a seven year journey. A journey in which I think some of the most interesting changes take place, which is the change from a child to a young adult leaving education at 18, um, ready to go into whatever the next sphere of life is. And the influence that you as parents and we as a school can have during that time is very, very clear. We can instill in them values, experiences, and probably most importantly, knowledge and skills that will help them throughout their life. If you have the opportunity to visit the school during the open evening, you'll have a chance to meet some of our students and to see this in action across a number of department areas. If not, there's plenty of information on our website and then there'll be some information later on in the presentation from Mrs Webster, who will be head of year seven, who will talk about the process of getting your child into school. But as ever, if there are things you need to know, please do contact us and thank you very much for looking at St Ivo Academy. Hello, my name is Claire Webster and I'm Head of Year 7. A large part of my role is organising the transition from primary school up into Year 7. We understand and appreciate that for a lot of students that can be quite daunting. We therefore organise a number of transition events over the summer term. These include Q&A sessions in our larger feeder schools as well as transition days in July. We have a broad and balanced curriculum where students can study up to 17 subjects in their first year at the school. Those subjects are taught in a variety of teaching groups so that they're with different peers throughout their day. As well as the house system, each student will also be allocated a form group and a form tutor. They will be the first port of call for any support or assistance that they might need during the school day. 
As well as your form tutor, Mrs Durnley is the student support assistant for Year 7, who can be found in the Key Stage 3 office. She is there to not only support students, but also parents. We have an excellent student support department in our school, who cater for all of our students with additional needs. That doesn't just start from September, but also throughout the transition process in the summer term. We have lots of communication with primary schools to ensure that we know the students as well as we possibly can for their start. Thank you for your time and we hope to see you at St Ivo Academy soon. At the Ivo I really enjoy uh, doing practicals in tech because I never got that opportunity in primary school as we didn't do much technology so it opens new opportunities. I enjoy the different subjects that they give us that I never used to do in primary school such as ethics where it's different variety of beliefs and also PE because there's a lot of clubs that I can do. I really enjoy doing some subjects that I didn't get to do in primary school like history and geography. I love having the opportunity to do practicals and clubs such as dance which is um, where I did a dance show um, and it gave me the opportunity to um, push myself to my limits and make new friends. I think the staff really help you and are really uh, helpful so if you don't know anything they will assist you and help you uh, learn new things. And teachers are always there to help you and they're really positive and yeah they just care for you. What's positive about the IFO is in the morning I get to see all my friends in the tutor group and you can speak to your tutor about any problems you have and you also do fun activities like watching the news to see what's going around around the world. Another positive is the clubs that uh, the IVO have. It's a chance to make new friends, meet new people and get better at the sport. And I'm looking to start rugby because I've never played it before and I can challenge myself. Another positive is that uh, the safety. I feel even though that it's a massive school and there's loads of people um, in the same area, it's quite safe. It's very safe. Um, but um, there's all the fire drills and everything. They tell you what to do if you're in danger. Another thing I really like about the IVO is the PE department. They're always really helpful and we can always have so much fun in PE. I was really worried about making new friends as uh, I had my my primary school didn't have many people come to the IVO, so I overcame this by um, talking to people, talking to people who sat next to me in form and lessons, and talking to people who had the same interests as me. One of my main concerns were probably getting lost, as it was, it's a much bigger school than my primary school, so um, and. I just asked someone and everyone's quite happy to help you if you do get lost. Another concern was going from classroom to classroom and not making it to every lesson on time. But I found in the first few weeks that the teachers were actually quite understanding and were eager to help us. It was my way of getting around because I never came from a school this big. So, and making friends because I was pretty new, I was a bit shy. Well, my tutor just told me to talk to someone and be myself. So I went to them and that's how I made my friends. My main concern when I started was getting lost and not being able to find classrooms but once I had like made some friends and I found out that some of them were in the same class as me we just walked together and we actually got there on time quite a lot. So I do dance and also there's quite a few competitions with, um, for that and you can also do sports and whatever for um, houses. Um, I'm in River House and so we do like um, sports days or whatever to compete against other houses and friends. I do rugby and football uh, as sports and it's a great experience to go to other schools and play against other teams. It helps with your perseverance and teamwork with working as a team and also it makes friends as you can speak to people about the sport and make new friends. The main tip I would give is to be confident and stay true to yourself and go out there and just be yourself. I'd say always don't hesitate to ask people or ask other students in sixth form uh, for help or so, some guidance. So for the year sixes you should ask, be yourself and 
um, you'll get on with it. It will be fine. So take all of the opportunities that are out there. Another tip would be to also join all the clubs you uh, enjoy and this would really help make new friends. Some tips for the year sixes coming to year seven is to be yourself and not worry about other people. Be confident and if anything is going on with school always make sure to like tell a parent or a teacher.